Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 11 of Power of Hope, Pretty Cure Full Bloom. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see what the heck happened today. Say something real quick. What if Belle, in a weird way, is also a pretty care from the future and such, but bad, like typical any other pretty care who has gone down the bad road, who eventually becomes a new, like the final care of the show? Um, so let's say it's that. Would we see her or, or something? Because, like, okay. So, I haven't seen the full preview for the final episode. I only saw one picture of a girl, and everybody was freaking out thinking it was Urana. But when I saw it, I was like, no, what if that's Belle and such? But of course, we ain't gonna know until next week. But that was the only picture I saw. Of course, I gotta wait until the end of the episode to see anything else. But yeah, we're going to keep that. You're right. And if it turns your town like that, it'll eventually turn the world like that as well. That's why there's like so many people now trying to fight and advocate for things and saying that, hey, with precious land, not everything needs to be built into something.
It's no use. You know what is interesting about those two? During the fact is we know that they're going to have to be there with the rest of the girls. So why didn't they also go with them? Probably billions, even more. Due to people. If people weren't, you know, selfish, none of these shadows would be born. That's why we, as people, we, in a way, not all of us, we kind of give up too easily. Excuse me. No way, there's nothing you can do. I think you've been watching all or all of them are just the yes. <laughs> yes is flash. <laughs> That's a harsh thing to say, but because they also saw what this world has to offer. Mm -hmm.
And see, because we barely really know anything about her, we don't know what her town looks like. Like one of the things from Project Tokyo Dolls, Jesus. Like they had to take an idea from that because, oh. So the clock tower will be her home. Right? Listen and knows me. But the thing is, the way that she's trying to protect this tr this town is wrong. I get that. Nobody wants to go through that. See, I felt like they really took like a page from Persona 5 because Jesus, oh my God. Course, that's not good. Yeah. Trees, everything.
Even the strongest attacks aren't going to work against that thing. Because you're letting it. I see, she's finally seeing the light of what's going on. I didn't think it would end up attacking her, but it's... It, you know, it's inevitable that things like that always happen. The things that you end up creating will eventually attack you. But what though? <laughs> Knows me. Which is right. And we question a lot of things.
I think she understands now. Shut up! <laughs> they always fuck and they make it sorry. Oh my god! Goodbye. This is the best freaking episode ever. This is the best, like, ish ever. Oh, my God. If we don't get something like this eventually when, like, freaking Mahot's guy gets theirs later on next year, brah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. Okay. This was really good. And, I mean, ending it on that high note by seeing Cure Black and White together the second time, especially after last week, because, I mean, we got to see them, but not really. It was just from, you know kind of in the neck on down and I was like thinking okay like they're not gonna have they're not gonna like literally do anything for them in this like they're just gonna be like as background characters but they're giving us little, this little easter egg they said no hold up they're gonna be in the last two episodes and such, which is so sweet but like I'm secretly kind of hoping Shani Lunas also makes an appearance because it makes the most sense because first it was a duo and now it's a trio so, to end on it with our trio, with the rest of these girls, would be really nice and such. But, yeah, I, I and I truly understand how Belle feels. Because I think a lot of us all feel that way. And because a lot of times, especially with some of the shows that I watch, they've talked about global warming and everything. And especially for kids nowadays who are growing up in this situation, it's something that cannot be avoided you're you're gonna have to learn about it and you can't avoid that you can't pretend that everything is gonna be okay because sometimes everything isn't okay Yeah, because there's got to be one more episode. At, hold on. Let me, let me check something real quick before I, like, continue on. But, yes, the fact that Shiny Luminous is also coming in this next week, bruh, th that's a good way. Yeah, that's a good way. Good way to end this series because, oh, my God, I would have been so upset if everybody except Shiny Luminous had made an appearance in this because, I mean... They're, they're a team. They always got to be together. Now, like I said, the lady who's blind, who everybody was like saying it's Urara, that still could be Urara because the fact is it could be about her play and everything, but I still also think it's Belle possibly transforming into a pretty hair and such because, you know, once again, secretly, I kind of hope her Seiyu is a part of being an actual cure instead of a villain for this show. Or this series, I'm just saying, you do what you gotta do, Toei. I'm just saying, go ahead and make her clear. You know you want to. That's the same way of how we all felt would go princess. And, um, what's her face? So here's open when that gets an adult series, um, they actually do make her into something as well as, like, an extra cure for them. Because that's, like I said, something we all truly wanted as a group and such. But yeah, this episode was really good. The feels, like, truly, you, it's an emotional roller coaster, especially because, uh, with how people feel it does give feels to not only Persona 5 but Project Tokyo Dolls in a way where it's very much like oh we're all happy but secretly like we say the worst things about like ourselves and society in the general and 
because we get tired of doing things eventually you know this is what's going to happen to our world if we don't you know take that first step forward and change it for the better and so I think after watching this um maybe something might something good might come out of this I'm not sure I feel like something always comes good out when a preacher season ends but who really knows what's going to happen in the next few weeks after the show is over. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 11 of Power of Hope, Pretty Careful Bloom. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for the final episode. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.